What's going on YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Michael, also known as Hyrule Dude. Today we're going to be going over part 9 of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, we're going to be going to Karusa Valley, and the reason why we're going there is to infiltrate the Yiga Clan hideout. So this is where Karusa Valley is on the map, as you can see with the red pin. And the reason why we have to go there is they have stolen the heirloom of the Gerudo people. And that heirloom is the Thunderhelm. So we are going to head there right now. The quickest way to get there is going to be by using a sand seal. So I'm going to rent one from Comb here on the West Gate uh, in Gerudo Town. And it's only going to be 20 rupees. So I hope she hooks me up with a really fast sand seal. So let's go. All right. So moving forward, let's go ahead and head towards the red marker on the map. Now, depending on what time of day you travel through the desert, you will experience wildly different temperatures, uh, which would require you to potentially use elixirs or certain foods to either cool you down or give you some heat. Now, by these pillars, there's actually a really cool find in this treasure chest now be careful because there's another one uh, as you can see ahead but that's actually an enemy but this treasure chest contains a gerudo spear so that's always sweet so i'm gonna hop back on the sand seal and continue moving forward Now there's going to be some rocks that are going to be tumbling down right about here. So make sure to watch out for them. And we're almost to our general destination, which will be the base of the mountain, really, I guess you could say. Um, and this is where I am here on the map. So here is where you're going to start encountering Yiga Clan popping up out of nowhere. So make sure you're prepared. What I usually do is I'll just pull out a bomb arrow and blast them in the face. And that's about it. And this dude just got demolished. He just got wrecked. Now make sure to pick up the mighty bananas. Make sure to pick up the rupees. And of course the duplex bow. That, that's a multi-shot bow. It's going to shoot more than one arrow. Uh, at a time, which is always pretty sweet. All right, so coming up here by the stones with the upside down Chica symbols, you're going to encounter a group of uh, Yiga clan here, so be on guard. All right, so there's just one more dude who has to go down, and he's finished. So let me go ahead and collect all the goodies here. Now, the really cool thing with duplex bows is you could actually glitch the system. I have a video on this, actually. Um, you can glitch the system and duplicate any weapon you want, which is really, really cool. You can duplicate weapons. You can duplicate shields. Um, it's like one of the best glitches in the game. So I might even do that in the next video, probably. But um, because by the end of this video, I'm going to have enough duplex bows, I'm pretty sure. Right here is the round room. It's a very interesting room. And what we're going to do is we're going to begin revealing what's behind some of these wall hangings. Now, we're not going to go behind every one because some of them don't really contain much. And you'll just release a bunch of bats. And that's always pretty annoying. So I'm going to take out an arrow, a regular arrow. And I'm going to use the torch to light the arrow. And I'm going to burn three different wall hangings from here. So this will be the first one. All right, and this will be the second one. And finally, the third one. Now, this one is going to reveal the secret passageway into the Yiga Clan hideout. Now, before we head into the hideout, let's go ahead and collect what's here in the room. 
All right, so this chest has a sapphire. That's pretty cool. And let's go over to the next one. Purple rupee, pretty sweet. And I'm gonna blow up these barrels. I only get a Hylian shroom, that's okay. And let me go ahead and try to blow these boxes up here, these crates. Get a wild berry, which is practically useless. And a volt fruit, and finally a palm fruit. So I guess that's kind of worth it. <laughs> I mean, um, but all right, so continuing forward into the hideout. So here I usually take off my bow and my shield just so I'm more quiet. Now, if you have the stealth armor, you don't have to worry about that, but I don't have it at the moment, so I am going to disarm everything except for my weapon. And that is a blade master right there. So I'm going to collect these mighty bananas and I'm going to paraglide here behind this pillar. And I'm going to take out a mighty banana and plant it right here in order to distract the blade master. Now it's not really necessary, I guess, with the first blade master guard here. Um, maybe I'm just doing it for the sake of the video, but as you could see, the Blade Master does see the bananas and he goes crazy. And so that is the object of dropping the bananas. So uh, now that that has been expertly demonstrated, let's move along. So I'm going to drop another mighty banana here and then I'm gonna whistle to get the attention of the guard and he's gonna come around. And I think he sees the bananas, so I'm gonna continue moving forward. Now let's go ahead and climb up this ladder. And here is Mighty Banana Heaven. Um, we're gonna take their entire stash for ourselves, then we're gonna use it against them. So check it out. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and drop on to the top of this pillar here. And this is very important. It's also usually overlooked, but let's go ahead and burn this wall hanging and we're gonna reveal a secret room. And trust me, it's very much worth burning this wall hanging down. Now, once again, I'm gonna use the Mighty Bananas trick and I'm gonna drop the Mighty Bananas right here. And when it distracts the Blade Master, I'm going to paraglide down and do a sneak strike by simply crouching and sneaking up and pressing Y, which will immediately demolish him. Okay, I was about to climb up, but I forgot all these awesome gems and stones here, so let me grab those. Now from here, it's a pretty straight shot to paraglide from here into the secret room, um, but it has to be at the precise time. So there's a guard that is walking back and forth doing normal guard duties. Um, so we're waiting until he turns around and the second he turns around, we're gonna paraglide over. He's going to probably still hear us. So let's keep it moving and let's open up these treasure chests to reveal a gold rupee in one and then a gold rupee again in the other treasure chest. So that's 600 rupees. We had what, like 200 rupees not too long ago. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's keep moving forward. And through here, we will see another ladder. And at the top, we are now above all of the Yiga clan in the room. So to the right, if you look over, there's going to be a treasure chest here containing a topaz. Let's go ahead and collect that. Now, once we have that, we'll head back over to the center of the room and we will open this treasure chest here, which contains a silver rupee. There's another bunch of mighty bananas here. Let's grab that. As usual, I'm going to drop mighty bananas right here to distract the guard and then paraglide right past him.
Sweet. So in this room, there's a few jars and there's also a few treasure chests in the room. Uh, also, a duplex bow is available. So I'm going to take out my magnesis and take all of the treasure chests out of the ground to collect the contents and clear out the room. All right, so we've got a ruby, and this one has got a topaz, and this one has another topaz. All right, pretty cool. And here in the center of the room, of course, which is the most important to the Yiga clan, we have Mighty Bananas. Pretty awesome. <laughs> so. If you haven't noticed, when you use your magnesis, there's a hidden wall here. Let's go ahead and open the secret door and walk through. And here we're going to battle the leader of the Yiga clan, Master Koga. He says, who the heck are you and what are you doing in my napping spot? Wait a second. And he notices my Sheikah slate. Then that means it's you. You're the link guy that we've been looking for. What luck. My scouts are out in the field looking for you, high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. <laughs> that is so hilarious. I love this guy. He's pretty funny. I kind of wish he was like a good guy. So now he's introducing himself, and he is the leader of the Yiga clan. He's the strong, the burly, the one, the only Master Kara. And so he tells me to prepare myself. So now we're going to battle. Now he's pretty easy to fight. So just take out an arrow. It doesn't have to be a bomb arrow or anything. And just hit him in the face when he's holding the boulder above his head. When you do that, it's going to drop onto his head. Then run up and just deliver as many strikes as you can. You're going to repeat that two times, maybe three times, depending on how good you are, before phase two of his fighting cell takes place. All right, so now he's in the center of the room, pouting with smoke coming out of his ears. All right, so very similar to phase one, we're waiting for the boulder to get to the top of his head. We're gonna hit him in the face, and then he's going to hurl over towards us, at which point we can then take out our weapon and just start unleashing a bunch of blows. almost toast so now this is phase three of his fighting style and here we're gonna take out our magnesis grab the boulder and just drop it onto his head um, and then you're gonna want to see if you can maybe hit him with an arrow and we'll repeat that one more time and he will easily be defeated thereby revealing a treasure chest Who would have thought I'd be done like this? You think I'm just going to let this stand, do you? So now apparently he's got something else up his sleeve. He's got another trick up his sleeve. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Looks like he's got an idea. And by a laugh like that, I mean, I am getting a little nervous. Uh-oh, he's going to bust out some serious moves, he says. Okay, let's see. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. That is a huge boulder, man. Oh, 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like it's... Might be a little hill, a little bit of a angle on this ground, so... He is done. Uh, by his own hands, apparently, at this point. I kind of feel bad for him. All right, so let's go ahead and get the treasure chest, which contains, of course, the heirloom that we have come here for, which is the Thunder Helm. Now, this item, actually, when you wear it on your head, uh, it has the power to withstand lightning, which is a pretty sweet thing in the game. I know we all hate lightning at this point, um, so that's pretty sweet. So now we're going to head back to Gerudo Town by transporting to Dako Chize Shrine. And that will be the easiest way to get there from here. All right, so let's go ahead and equip the Gerudo clothing so that we can enter the town. All right, and just heading right through the center of town. I'm going to pass this big, huge Goron with a huge backpack on his back. Because where else do you wear a backpack, right? Obviously, it's on the back. But um, as you can see, Princess Raiju is not here. And Buliera is telling me that she is upstairs. So let me go ahead and go up the stairs and find Princess Raiju and talk to her and give her the good news. Now please give me the helm. Okay, yes ma'am, here you go. She looks phenomenal. You look beautiful, woman. All right, and here we go into another memory cutscene. You certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... <laughs> Urbusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs>
All right, so she's officially asking for my help to assist with helping the Gerudo people. So of course I am going to assist. So she's going to be at the lookout post at the south of town, which is where we're going to meet her at. She's going to be there with her favorite sand seal, Patricia. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> hmm. All right, and so that about wraps things up for this video, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support, especially all the likes and comments that come from you guys and girls. Uh, so I hope you all are being safe, and I will see you all on the next video. May God keep us all safe and bless us all. Take care. Cheers.